for me, it was like walking out on a stage, a huge stage, and I have worked on big stages, like at the Royal National Theatre in London, the Royal Shakespeare Company. But I, th I actually think what it does to the feel of the film, as we were working on it, and I think the same thing applied to Dogville, which preceded, preceded this, is a sense of openness in which something may be happening in the four in in the in a close up and there's something else happening in the um somewhere else on the set and the camera's catching both things even though one is closer than the other and there's a sense of see-throughness um in the ho uh, in the whole story so that Everybody is affected by everything, or the, everyone is interconnected, and that is going to build up through the f uh, in 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 the film over a period of you know nearly three hours a kind of again emotional tidal wave of these people being connected. You have to be what the French call disponible. You have to be available all the time and that's not always required if you're in, in a film for instance we had to wear mics even when we didn't have lines um, specific lines that day on a, but then because you've got the mic on and you are sitting and you're responding to someone who is talking your breath your movement all of that is being registered on the, on the, you know on the monitor um, the shift of a chair or whatever so you are working all the time um, and there were moments when we as a group um, affected a, a scene because we were all so very present even though it was only two people speaking but the way we were present helped create the tension in that scene and it's it's wonderful it is about human behavior but the fact that it takes um, slavery as the context is very important because uh, it's about um, the kind of psychological and emotional legacy of slavery rather than just the physical thing um, of there having been all these slaves who were brought over in ships and all the rest of it and worked for 400 years and then they were freed and etc and emancipation proclamation all of that is kind of pro you know sort of prosaic where whereas this film is about a kind of um, psychological and behavioral um, legacy um, that has been carried on right to the present. America doesn't make films about America. <laughs> it just re refuses. It makes sort of promotional two and a half hours commercials about what they would like to think about themselves. And um, this film is about um, America and about um, race, um, which America doesn't like to talk about because it likes to just take that point of view that we are, um, all we have to do is just all act alike and eat alike and buy alike and and then everything will be all right. And if people don't, then they are not like us. And we're afraid of even looking at ourselves. And certainly our history.